divine intervention follows human passion and desperation. Divine intervention. We saw from the life of Hannah. If there is going to be divine intervention, there will be passion and desperation from man. If there will be intervention from God, there must be passion from man. There must be desperation from man. We saw that in First Samuel chapter 1 verse 11 to 12. The second is unto it and that says, it takes fire from the heart to provoke answer from above. Fire from the heart. Effectual fervent. Fervent means it carries fire. It takes fire from the heart to provoke answer from above. Say it another way. It takes fire from the heart to provoke fire from above. James chapter 5 verse 16 make that clear. And of course, 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 36 to 38, the prayer of Elijah made it clear. It takes fire from the heart to provoke answer from above. It takes fire from the heart to provoke fire from above. And number three, nothing glorious happens until someone gets serious nothing glorious happens until someone becomes serious the glory of God that fell in the form of that fire answered to the seriousness of Elijah hear me oh God hear me hear me oh God hear me nothing glorious happens until someone becomes serious we saw that from the prayer of Elijah say that again nothing glorious happens until someone becomes serious another way to say it is God does serious things only with serious people don't forget that God does serious things he does serious business only with serious people. You saw how unserious Cain was about life. God could not do anything serious with Cain. You saw how unserious Esau was with life. God could not do anything serious with Esau. God does serious things with serious people. God cannot do serious things with the unserious and that seriousness goes into the place of prayer there are people play, praying serious prayers and still opening the phone to answer they are in the midst of a prayer serious prayer hello sorry I'm praying I'll call you back later that is not a prayer you are expecting answer right is it God you are told, telling to hold on for you to answer a call? When you are in the midst of matters that are serious, phone is not on. It doesn't matter if it's the president of America that is calling. The president general of the universe has engaged you. There are many people, his brain is... Chewing gum. And God is watching all these things. Serious matter, you are dozing inside the prayer. Have you have you ever slept dozed in front of an examiner? That is asking you oral examinations. Or in front of an interviewer. You doze and you woke up and say, sorry, I didn't sleep well last night. I was preparing for this interview. After 
you have prayed, both you and God and the devil will know you prayed. 